Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday. I pray that your morning gotten off to an amazing start, but if not, hit that reset button and just start all over again. Don't allow anything or anyone to interfere, to hinder your day. You are in control over what type of day you will have. Don't allow the coffee not starting on time to ruin your day. Don't allow you waking up late to ruin you having a great day. Don't allow the children acting up interfere with your day on today. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we have a right to rejoice and to be glad in it. So I'm going to get on into the read, the title, the first day of the rest of your life. You might have woke up this morning and you're feeling heavy and you're feeling down and out. You're feeling heavy. You're feeling like your life is never going to change. You feel like things is never going to get better. You feel like things is never going to turn around for you. Well, I come to encourage you this morning that God have you in mind. He have you on his heart. Because every day he allows you to wake up and see another day that you will never see again. He have you in mind. He have you on his heart. He said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. To give you that expected end. Not to harm you. But to prosper you. So don't allow where you at. What you're going through how you feeling to cause you not to enjoy this beautiful day. Remember, somebody didn't make it through the night. Somebody is hanging on now, fighting for their life. But you are in your right mind. No, you may not be at the job that you desire. You may not have that home that you desire. You may not have that car that you desire. You may not have that spouse that you desire. But you have your health and strength. You're clothed in your right mind. And you still have life. As long as you have life, you have a chance. So never despise where you at. Because one word from God can change your whole entire life. God is good. He's been good to me. I may not be where I desire to be, but he has kept me from things that could have taken me out of here. I could have lost my mind. I could have gave up living. I could have stopped fighting. But because of his genuine, unconditional love, I'm still fighting. I'm still persevering. I'm still holding on to hope. And I come to encourage you to do the same. Let's get into this read. Lamentations 3 and 22. The steadfast love of the Lord never cease. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. He's faithful. Don't judge him being faithful or not faithful by what you see. That's why he said, walk by faith and not by sight. Because what we see can be deceiving. It, it's it can distract us. So we have to go by what God has spoken to, to us. And, you know, whether you received a prophecy, um, whether a vision, a dream, we can't always go by with what we see. I'm going to get on into this read and get out your way. Do you ever stop to think that today is the first day of the rest of your life? And what you do with this day that you have been given is very important. A lot of times, most of the time, we take waking up for granted. 
because when we wake up what we do we wake up and with we wake up complaining i got to get ready to go to this job i really don't want to go this is not where i want to be this is not what i want to do and then you begin to look at your your surroundings and you want to be somewhere else you want to be in a different environment but you find yourself in that same environment you start to get discouraged you start to feel defeated you start to feel all hope is lost why should i continue to hope for better why should i still pray for greater because that's what you should do this is not the time to give up this is not the time to throw in the towel you have the ability to choose what kind of day this will be for you you are in control you can't let the coffee you can't allow the dog you can't allow the children you can't allow the husband you can't allow the wife you can't allow the co-workers you are in control don't let the regrets of yesterday ruin your today don't worry about what didn't happen yesterday don't worry about what didn't come through yesterday today is a brand new day but receive god's mercy god's love new beginnings and his mercy is new every day let go of everything behind you let go of the past let go of yesterday and focus on this amazing day remember somebody didn't wake up Remember, someone is fighting for their life. But you woke up healthy, clothed in your right mind, able to dress yourself, able to drive yourself. That's a blessing. Choose to live with hope today. Hope is the aggressive expectation that something good is going to happen in your life. Start expecting. Instead of waking up complaining, wake up with an expectation. The other choice is to be hopeless, sour, and negative. Nobody wants to wake up that way, hopeless, just feeling like all oh, hope is lost. You're sour, you're bitter. You hop on social media. People's going on vacation. They said they're living their best life. And you feeling like I'm just living life. Life is life. It's what you choose to do with it that makes it great. It how you choose to wake up and receive it. But why would anyone choose to live that way? We choose it sometimes because Satan deceives us into thinking that we are on, that we are the only ones who can solve our own problems. Oftentimes we're trying to do things on our own and God said you can't do it without me. You won't be successful without me. That marriage will not last without me. God wants to be the center of everything that you try to do, that you want to do, that you desire to do, that you hope to do. He wants to be included. And we are and we work to try to do what only God can do. Some of us are trying to do things that you're going to find out in the long run that you can't do it. You wasn't created to do it on your own. God said he's not going to share his glory with no man. So while you're fighting, he's resting. While you're trying to do it all on your own, he's waiting. Will you include him today? Will you ask him today? God gave you this day to enjoy, not to be miserable frustrated and negative if you woke up this morning and you're feeling miserable you're feeling like today is going to be like yesterday 
You questioning why did I even wake up? I'm not happy. I don't have any peace. I don't have any joy. I'm frustrated. My life is going to always be like this. It'll never change. Things will never get better. I will always be the cheerleader. I will always be sitting on the sideline. Change your language. Change the way you look at you. Change what you are saying about you. If you have fallen for those temptations in the past, today can be the turning point for you. God said, change your language. Start speaking what he spoke. And not speaking on what you see. Because the more you water it, that's what you're going to continue to see. God wants you to, God wants to work in your life, but he cannot work through a negative attitude. You got to change your attitude. You got to change your attitude. How you see yourself, it must change. What you think about yourself, it must change. How you view yourself, it must change. God cannot work, will not work in negativity. Because what you think about yourself is not what he said about you. God works through your faith. Put your faith in him. He said without faith, we can't even please him. So everything else that you're doing is in vain if you don't have faith in him, if you don't, if you don't trust him, if you don't believe in him. And look for the good things in life. Start looking for the good things. Start standing on his promises. Those dreams. Those visions. Start thinking on what's good. Stop focusing on what's bad. What could go wrong? What didn't go right? Who left you? Who abandoned you? Who mistreated you? Who abused you? God said, change your perspective, change your language, change your outlook, make it a habit starting today. Don't put off what you can do today for tomorrow. Today is the perfect day to start. And speak to yourself, talk to yourself. And said, I am beautifully and wonderfully made. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not below. We got to speak with only what God says about us. And here's the prayer. Father, I'm sorry for the days that I have wasted being negative. And discouraged. How many of us would just be honest and said, I've had some discouraging days. I wake up discouraged. I lay down discouraged. I go through my day discouraged. I go to work discouraged. This is the day to apologize for the days that you've wasted being negative and discouraged. Today is a new day, and I choose, with your help, acknowledging you can't do it alone, to be hopeful, to be positive, and to be a blessing everywhere I go. In Jesus' name, amen. You have to understand you have influence. If you're negative all the time, that pushes people away. People don't want to be around negativity. 
But when you're positive, people can pull from your positiveness. Negative is draining. Positive is uplifting. Oftentimes, we wear how we feel in our facial expression, how we talk, how we walk, how we show up. God want us, you and I, to change our language. And don't go another day. Don't waste another day, another morning, being negative and discouraged. Whatever you have to do to protect your peace. Sometimes we get on social media and we see things and it's a reflection of where we are not. What we can't do, our limitations. But we have to remember that everybody, we are all in different seasons. You may be in your seasons of lack and completely trusting and depending on God. The next person may be in a season of enjoying life to the fullest. They're able to go, they're able to do. That's their season. But just always remember seasons change. Situations change. Circumstance change. We have to learn to be content where we are, not accept, but be content where we are. Because when you're content, you know how to move in whatever season you are in your life. Whether you're in a season of lack and that's trusting in God, you're learning how to do that. Because if you're not content, you're anxious. So we have to learn how to adjust to the seasons that we're in without complaining, without being negative, without beating yourself down, without misjudging yourself, without making yourself feel less than, putting other people on pedestals. We all are in different seasons in our lives. So I'm grateful this morning. I pray that you are grateful. If you woke up this morning negative, if you woke up this morning discouraged, you woke up this morning feeling defeated, you woke up feeling that your life will never change. Today is a new day to change your language. Whatever you have been trying to do and you just feel like you can't stay committed whether it's you're trying to stop smoking you're trying to stop drinking you're trying to stop fornicating you're trying to uh you're trying to lose weight whatever it is that you're trying to do every day that god grants you another day it's a new beginning don't beat yourself up over what you didn't do yesterday start it today Begin it today. Go for it today. He granted you another day for a reason. He said, get back up again. Stand up again. Go again. Hope again. Try again. I got to go. I pray something was said. I pray that this word meets you right wherever you may be today. That it may cause you to change your language. To change how you look at yourself, what you think about yourself, how you feel about yourself. God loves you right where you at. And he will meet you right where you at. Don't be dismayed. Don't be discouraged because he is with you. 
wherever you at, whatever you going through, he's with you. You are not alone. You may say, well, Yolanda, you don't understand what I'm going through. And it just seemed like everything is happening all at once. I come to tell you that no matter what's going on in your life, God is still God. He changed not. And wherever you at today, whatever you're going through, whatever your fight is, whatever your battle is, whatever your worry is, he's got you on his heart. He's got you on his mind. And he's waiting for you to ask for his help. See, God doesn't intrude. He likes to be asked. He, he likes invitations. He wants to feel like that you want him there, that you want him to be a part. So whatever you're going through today, include him, invite him in. Let him know that you need him. And let it be a daily thing that you do. Waking up, inviting him. Speak life over your circumstance, your situation, your family, your friends, your foes, those that gave up on you. Those that said that you would never amount to anything. Those that said that you would never go anywhere. Those that don't even feel like you deserve mercy or grace. Speak life over them as well. You have nothing to lose but everything to gain. Until next time. Have an awesome day. And remember, the first day of the rest of your life is when you choose when you make the conscious decision that you're not going to wake up miserable and frustrated or negative. Pray and ask God to help you to have a better attitude, a better outlook on life and yourself. Change your habits. Change your thoughts, change your language, and watch you begin to see a change in your life. Until next time, have an amazing day. God bless.